In the Android world, there has been a debate. Is my stock ROM that comes out of the box on my phone better than a custom ROM available for my device? Today, let's find out. There are lots of videos out there, plenty, showing performance between clicks, how fast apps open between a stock ROM and a custom ROM. But today, I'm actually gonna bring you numbers. So I took it upon myself to use my Honor 5X from Huawei and go ahead and test the stock ROM, um, which is Emui 4.0 or Android 6.0.1 versus Lineage OS 14.1. And I wanted to see, is there really a performance difference and is it really better in general to use a custom ROM over the stock one out of the box? So I was looking for battery life, general, everyday usage, um, whether that be how fast you can reply to an email, how smooth text is and scrolling in Google Chrome, if browsing web pages, and even YouTube and videos and such. And then I wanted to see performance numbers. Does the performance of a stock ROM versus a custom ROM really yield that much of a difference? So I'll start with battery life. Battery life on stock wasn't actually too bad. Um, Huawei has that pretty dialed in and for a 3000 milliamp hour battery like the Honor 5X has, um, it was able to get me through a full day no problem in the smart regular mode that balances performance and whatnot. And with general users like replying to text messages, browsing the internet, uh, maybe working on some documents, some text based stuff like Google Docs and such, the phone held up pretty good with battery. There was no really noticeable drain besides maybe the extra bloatware that comes um, with the stock ROM. Lineage OS, however, had, I think, the best balance of performance and battery life, and I will have to say that Lineage OS could not get me exactly through a full day, but every time I opened an app, it was snappy, it was quick, there was no extra stuff being loaded in the background to use battery like bloatware. Um, scrolling and everything in general everyday usage was perfect everything loaded fast and the battery drain was acceptable for the amount of on-screen time the phone was being used just like in stock so performance wise I wanted to see how fast a stock ROM um, compared to lineage OS actually was and so I collected a bunch of numbers I did Geekbench um, for benchmarking along with and 22 benchmark, 3D mark and PC mark and the numbers are actually pretty interesting. So the results on the benchmarks are actually pretty interesting. Here in Geekbench 4.1.2 in the multi-core CPU test, we noticed that Lineage OS is actually falling behind in most tests. That stock Emui 4.0 is actually outrunning it. Now if we look at the Geekbench 4.1.2 CPU single core test, we can see that Lineage OS is fairly even um, on the single core portion of this test and that the stock Emui um, 4.0 ROM really pulls ahead in the memory latency, LLVM, and a couple of other tests, but generally CPU performance there stays the same. Moving on to PC Mark, the Computer Vision 1.0 test had everything was basically the same. Lineage OS only won one test, which is the ZX Ing, um, while the stock ROM pulled away on the Tesseract test um, with a very big noticeable difference of over 1,000 points. The PC Mark Storage 1.0 test showed that the stock ROM was in fact faster as a total score and that the SQL Lite read measured in IOPS was definitely much faster than Lineage OS, but all the other tests seemed to be fairly even um, with either the stock ROM beating it or Lineage being equal with the stock ROM. In the PC Mark Work 2.0 test, we can see that Lineage OS did fairly well in almost every single test. The photo editing was outrun by the stock ROM, video editing was also nailed by the stock ROM. The 3D Mark Slingshot Extreme test showed that numbers were pretty even here with Lineage OS pulling away on the physics score and basically even with the stock performance of the stock ROM that comes on the Huawei. In the Antutu benchmark version 6.2.7 we can see that Lineage OS pulls ahead as a total score 
and is either equal yet again with the stock ROM in most tests. The Geekbench 4.1.2 compute test shows that the stock ROM outran Linux OS um, in most cases and it just shows that the compute test the phone was better optimized for things with photo editing raw processing depth of field particle physics and whatnot moving on to everyday usage um, the stock ROM that comes on the Honor 5X is actually pretty snappy the camera opens fairly quick um, Chrome is very smooth in browsing web pages, very quick at loading and rendering those web pages. YouTube um, loads fairly fast and uh, video quality out of YouTube is still very high, um, being at 1080p. The brightness was a little different between the Lineage OS ROM and the stock ROM, so that was a little bit annoying, but I had a higher brightness in the stock OS compared to Lineage. But Back to the stock ROM, like I said earlier, battery life is pretty good. Um, performance um, for everyday usage is sufficient. It will get you through. And I will say that even with this um, mid-range MSM 8916 family, the Snapdragon 616 that's in this phone um, held up pretty nicely and was very well optimized for daily usage in the stock OS. Lineage OS was comparable, offering a very good um, daily um, usage experience, but however I find that the usage of Chrome and maybe Gmail are a bit slower than the stock OS, probably because they're not as well optimized um, as everything would be in the out of the box OS that you expect to receive on your device. So. Performance in Lineage OS daily was pretty good. Um, it handled everything I needed to. Replying to text messages was really quick. That's something that the stock ROM did not have compared to Lineage. Um, typing response was a lot better, even using the same keyboard as the stock ROM. And overall, it just felt like a better experience, and I didn't have any bloatware to go around. The stock ROM on the Honor 5X has quite a lot of bloatware. You have Shazam, Facebook, Twitter, and a bunch of other like Chinese apps generally and stuff. It depends on what phone you buy that comes with bloatware, but I noticed that Huawei had added quite a bit of bloatware that had slowed down the phone in some areas of daily usage that Lineage OS accelerated in. To put a conclusion on this, the stock ROM actually had faster performance, but from usage um, that I have done using the phone daily, um, giving each a week on Lineage OS and eMUI, I have found that the Lineage OS experience is especially good because there is no bloatware, there's no pre-installed Facebook, any of that. The apps are simple, the UI is clean. It gives you the pure Google AOSP experience without any theming, heavy UI changes, and such. Overall, I think eMUI is a pretty interesting OS, and maybe if you're a gamer, like mobile device gamer that does maybe YouTube recordings or just play in general, that you will notice the increase in the gaming um, experience in eMUI or the stock ROM on the phone. But if you want like a better daily experience and better usage, like more productivity, I personally think that Lineage OS offers that because there's no bloatware. Like I said, the OS is clean. There's nothing to worry about. And plus, with your device maintainers, Lineage OS can continue to ship weekly updates for your device called nightlies. And that means new fixes can be introduced, performance numbers could even change on a different build. Um, let's say your device um, gets a new update next week, something may be optimized differently. So that's a major perk over the stock OS. Um, stock ROMs on phones generally don't um, receive updates quite as often maybe one every two, three, four months, sometimes even a year. I know for a fact that Samsung is very poor at releasing uh, even security updates for certain devices, and that showed with what Huawei did, um, their updates aren't very good either. So even to breathe new life into a device, you can put Lineage OS on it, and performance will certainly skyrocket in that case. And plus, you get a new version of Android. These phones may be only shipping with 6.0.1, but Lineage OS currently uh, supports 7.1.2 on here and is expected to receive Android Oreo 8.0 
shortly when um, the ROM is considered stable enough to do nightly builds. So there are perks of using a custom OS, but you decide for yourself. Do you want to use a stock ROM or do you want to use a custom ROM available for your device? Sound off in the comments below and I'd love to hear what you guys think.